welcome back to My Life YT. Uh, today we're back on Goliath. We mount the handlebars, we build a gas tank, we mount the gas tank. So stay tuned for that. Mounting up some handlebars, guys. These are off of, out of our trailer of junk we got like last year. Um, they were on what seemed to be a piece of a three-wheeler. Um, uh, just has two bolts that come out the bottom. I thought really easy. Even if I end up remaking the, the handlebars, because I'm not sure if they're, they're raked back far enough to where it'll be comfortable to sit. Even if I got to remake them, I can clamp them into these clamps and have some really nice, easy clamps to do. Um, so what I did is I measured to the center and then measured the distance between these and came back out and then went up. So I'm gonna drill those and get this mounted. We uh, pre-drill small hole, then drill it out to a bigger hole. Uh, save yourself some drill bits. Your big drill bits go dull. All right, so <clears throat> these have a little uh, collar in here. Uh, I didn't notice that before, or I did, and didn't think it was gonna matter, but um, I'm gonna have to drill my hole a little bit bigger to fit that collar. So I gotta go find a drill bit. Uh, couldn't find a drill bit, so I had to go buy some Harbor Freight at the $9.99, I think it is. So uh, that way I can drill these out a little bigger. I've been mulling on where to put the gas tank and what I want to do for the gas tank. I don't want it in between the handlebars, like a normal motorcycle. I thought about putting it and making a building one to go in here, but realistically, the look of it and the, the size of it, it wouldn't have enough fuel in it. Um, so I didn't like that idea. Um, you know, I, I just, I came up with nothing. So what I ended up thinking of is I'm just gonna do a circle six inch circle stainless steel gas tank back here. I got some stainless steel, uh, like thin wall, six inch tube. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna make it about as wide as the tire. And then I'll make a mount and we'll work it underneath here. So it'll be uh, about 12 inches wide, 12 or 13 inches wide, six inches around. I think it figures out to be about a gallon and a half or so of fuel. Um, depending on how much fuel this uses, that should get us a, a pretty good long ride out of it. Um, if not, if, if it doesn't give us a long enough ride because I do a lot of trail riding, um, what I'll do is, uh, well, I'll rethink it. I'm not sure yet, but we'll come up with something. So that's, that's my plan. Um, so let's get started on that. Decided to go with uh, 13 inches wide. So the cut on the end here is pretty straight. So I'm just going to take my tape measure, um, lock it, and then I'm just gonna run it around at 13 inches here and uh, mark it out. That way I can make a straight cut. I'm just gonna have to use the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel on it because it's not, it's too big to go into my, uh, my saw, so. Um, I just made a mark all the way around doing that. I'm gonna change my angle grinder to a cutoff wheel and we will cut this off. Hey, right, so we're out at my brother-in-law's place borrowing his TIG. We're uh, working on our gas tank that I showed you the videos where we're gonna mount it. We're gonna put the ends on. We're gonna, I got uh, brackets. So then we'll put the bracket for mounting it on. And then uh, I do have some other pieces that I'm going to show you when I'm going to put those in a little bit. Um, but this is just going to be a uh, music over and we'll see you in a few minutes. I did a 
that way just to make a neat, nice, even fit all the way around. Just put a tack, and I'm gonna go back and weld it, and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes because I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other end, and uh, we'll just skip all that. So before we weld this other end on, I want to put the hole in for our fuel line to come off of here, which I'm going to use a uh, coupling. Um, and I want it to be, I want to put the seam on the top side of the gas tank, just in case it leaks. Um, I don't think it will, but I want to put it on the top side. So what I'm trying to do is get uh, 180 degrees from that. And if you ever try to find the center of a circle, you take a square, they make jit, make things for this, but you can take a square and put a 45 on top of it, line it up to your corner here, and push your 45 into the side of the circle. And if you need the two marks, will be you can mark here and here. But I'm lining this side up with the seam, and then marking the opposite side with my marker that fell on the ground. So I got that lined up with the seam there, lined up with the corner of my 90, and now I'm going to mark this side over here. So that would give us, you know, that would go right across the center of the circle, and if you needed to find the center, you could put it, put it over here somewhere, make another mark, and you could actually find the center of that. So, little trick. So now I'm going to go ahead and drill this try to drill this because it's stainless steel it's going to drill a little harder and uh, we'll come back weld this coupling in weld this end on tank welded up we ground it off um, now what I'm working on is my mount so I drilled this and I have a matching one that's going to mount on Goliath that's going to mount on there this is threaded so I'm going to put these on the ends of here and then it's going to mount like that. So that's what we're working on. I'll get this welded up and show you how it looks. And that'll be it. Um, I'm actually waiting on the filler neck for it so good job eBay. Slow doing an awesome job with UPS and all them. So, waiting on a lot of parts for it right now. Ow, oh, that's still hot. So we welded up this, turned out decent. Now we measured the center this way and we have it at the same uh, low point as this coupling. So we're gonna take our marks and put this on which will finish up our gas tank. And then we'll work on mounting it on. All right, so we're moving on to mounting the gas tank. Um, it's gonna mount right here at the back. I think I'm actually gonna put the spout or the spigot over here. Um, I'm gonna be able to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run two, two bars on each side of the seat post of the bigger um, one inch uh, tube. We'll run two bars back and then I have a plate that this actually sits down onto and bolts in with four bolts as you've seen in the me welding that up. Um, so we'll start by cutting these angles, cutting me some tubes, measuring this out, see how far it's going to be back here. So let's get rolling. Right back in about there, so we're gonna need about 12 inch pieces. So now I'm gonna cut an angle on this. Um, I'm going to set up my hole saw on <coughs> a 45 and uh, cut it to a 45. I believe that's gonna be really close to a 45. That's gonna leave it. It's going to let it butt into this bar really nicely. It'll be right beside the seat bar, which I can weld it into. And then it'll also brace the um, shock 
mount. So it'll be a multi-purpose help. <laughs> and it should tie in there really nicely and make it nice and strong back there. So uh, I'm going to set that up and go ahead and get that done. All right guys, so we did get in our new shock. So uh, this 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 shock is a perfect size, I think it's gonna be. Um, the coil is a lot bigger than the old one. I'll give you a close up on that in a minute, but I am gonna try to cover this shock up since that's our one we are gonna use. Um, so I don't get any weld BBs on it. Um, but these, I notched them and they should sit right in here like this. I'm gonna try to just run them straight back kind of match the profile of the bike. Um, I'll put one here and I'm going to put one on the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my helmet and tack these in. Alright, so then our plate's just going to sit on here. And awesome. <laughs> so I made a big mistake here. So. Our bolt holes line up with the bolt holes, line up right on top of the tubes. Dang it. <laughs> well, shoot. Um, well, I think I'm just going to... I guess I'll probably just weld the tank right to the thing for now. That's about the only thing I can do without having to... Well, I think what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting these off shorter and then I'll weld this to the back of the tubes. I think that will be a better solution than actually welding our tank to the frame. So, I'll figure out where it needs to be. I guess I'm just going to take off about the length of the bracket, cut them back up here. So I have to cut them with the grinder now. It's not a huge deal. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll cut off, uh, I think this is about three inches. Cut it back here, weld that bracket straight to the ends of these. Might have to put another brace on it or something. Not a big deal though. All right, so there's our gas tank. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, we got the, the handlebars mounted. We got the gas tank mounted. It's just tack right now. Um, uh, I'm trying to get a feel for it and decide if I'm really want to keep it there. I, I like it because it's not wider than me. It doesn't stick out the sides, so once I get a wider seat on there, I think it will look good. Um, also, uh, we're waiting on some parts. Uh, I got the clutch on order. I got bearings for the front, so it'll actually be a roller on order. Um, I got to get the filler neck for the gas tank. That's on order. Um, you know, shipping is just taking a little longer with the holidays, so uh, we're waiting on a few things. Um, and get back onto this and get get her done. I wanna wanna get this done in the next couple episodes, so or at least rideable. I don't know about done and painted, but we're getting there. Um, she's really close to being a roller, so um, I don't think our parts are coming in for like another week. Um, so you know that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If you really like our videos, I'd hit that notifications button. Um, this year. It's the beginning of the year, 2021. I'd really like to see our our channel, my channel, take off. Um, I'd like to get that to that thousand subscribers. That's that's the goal for the year. Hopefully, some of these bigger projects. I got uh, I got a few lined up that I'm really excited about, including this one. <laughs> I'm really excited to ride this. Um, but uh, we got some other ones coming. Um, they're already planned out. I already have. I don't have all the parts for them, but I have a good good. Uh, uh, idea of what I want to do with them so uh, hopefully you'll smash that subscribe and notifications button and we will see you in the next one <laughs>